there will always be a need for fuel. You can't use electric vehicles for long distance hauling of, of materials. So long distance trucks will always need fuel. Airplanes won't run on electricity. Uh, Transatlantic uh, ocean liners will not run on, on electricity alone. So there's always going to be a need for liquid fuels. There's three, four, four vendors, uh, actually five or six vendors on the campus of between Tim Hortons and Starbucks. Uh, and there are lots of coffee cups lying around. So I was just walking through the, the uh, atrium in the engineering building and saw lots of people lined up and lots of coffee cups lying around and said, well, why don't we use the cups? We take a cup. We give it to our bacteria, and our bacteria eat it. So here's a cup of that contains cellulose. It's cardboard, and we haven't put any bacteria. So this has been here, non-degraded for a couple months now. There you go. So with the bacteria that we use, uh, in a few days, the same type of cup is going to be turned into mush. And I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's bubbles that come out, mainly hydrogen and CO2. And when we do the analysis of the liquid, we also get ethanol production. We're starting with ethanol now, but the, the concepts, the processes that we're developing will be applied to the fuels of the future. Well, we should have interest in cellulose turning into biofuels because cellulose is the largest, most numerous material, organic material that we have that is renewable. And not only is it renewable because we have a lot of trees, we have a lot of agricultural re residues, but from the context of municipal aspects, even you, if you go and anyone looks at their trash, well, a lot of the cellulose, a lot of the paper, a lot of the cardboard does make it to recycling. There's still a substantial amount of cellulose material paper and cardboard that ends up in our trash. We know that when you have a coarse material like this versus this versus this, that our bacteria like the really ground up stuff better because it has a larger surface area than it does the very coarse material. So we don't have to do much other than really grind it into a fine powder. Again, it's the appreciation of how much waste we live with. We don't value our waste. Waste is money. Waste is value.